On Monday evening, shortly after 8 p.m., Minneapolis police responded to the 3700 block of Chicago Avenue South on a report of a forgery in progress. He physically resisted officers. Officers were able to get the suspect into handcuffs and officers noticed that the male was going into medical distress. We do believe that this is a uh, medical incident. And I can't begin to tell you how outraged I am. And we urge you all to stand up and fight with us. Enough is enough. Each and every officer is accountable. Block after block of protesters here on East 38th Street, Chopper 5, showing you some of them that are marching. Black lives! Black lives! Black lives! I guess it's just people expressing their anger, you know? We demand that these officers be fired immediately. Before involved, former employees, I've made that decision this afternoon. 100%, it is the right decision for our city. So this is a historical day for those of us who was, be down, was down there. We were actually creating history around this issue because for the first time in the history of black people in Minnesota, four white males were fired for doing wrong to our people. I feel like uh, the justice system should do more than just fire them. Like, come on now, y'all can do better. Right now, Black Lives Matter, right now. Black Lives Matter! We're gonna make the police earn their money. And so I'm calling on Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman to act on the evidence before him. I'm calling on him to charge the arresting officer in this case. The Minneapolis Police Department will continue to ensure the safeguards of everyone's First Amendment. Everything's gonna go bonkers in this town if they don't get justice for the family. But that cannot be at the expense of others' personal safety. Come on, God, this is ridiculous! Sad. Scary. Someone said to me, are you going to address the violence? No justice, no peace, no justice. The violence I'm addressing is how a man could hold a man down yes, with a knee on his neck Come for on. nine minutes. Yeah. That's when the violence started. We didn't get no sleep last night. It's scary. Number one, our first goal is to sweep the city. Guys, there is damage all over Lake Street. We're going to help clean up our own streets, help clean up our own parking lots. The feeling around this area right now is sadness. It's pretty sad. It's sad. I understand that we are upset, but this is not the way to go about it. You don't get justice doing this. This is not going to solve a damn thing. The second demand that we have is that they get charged. Firing them with the first step, that's going to happen. But you have to arrest them, charge them, convict them. What's next? Unfortunately, I think those good police officers that are over there... Walk away! Go home! Just go home! They got a big target on them, and that's really sad. Our county attorney has got to bring charges today. We can't wait another day. It will only get worse. Today, May 28th, will be remembered as the day chaos spread across the Twin Cities. And it hasn't stopped tonight. And I made the decision uh, to evacuate the third precinct. Brick and mortar is not as important as life. Those four officers stood, kneeled, and killed George Floyd. All humanity should be outraged. What's his name? George Floyd! What's his name? George Floyd! What's his name? George Floyd! They finally gonna hear us. They finally gonna know his name, George Floyd. They, they know they finally gonna hear us, man. George Floyd! This criminal action took place on Monday evening, May 25th, Memorial Day. I'm speaking to you at 1 o'clock on Friday, May 29th. That's less than four days. That's extraordinary. I'm here to announce that former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is in custody. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been charged by the Hennepin County Attorney's Office with murder and with manslaughter.
Questions? That is not enough. Not All enough. four of them not participated enough. in the killing of George Floyd, and we will not be satisfied until all four of them are arrested and actually charged with the murder of George Floyd. God said he'd give us beauty for ashes, and we're believing that out of the ashes will rise a new Minneapolis and St. Paul. Out of the ashes, we're going to get justice, and we're going to walk together. This is the Minnesota State Patrol. You are in violation of unlawful assembly. Not everyone is following those curfews that are in place across the Twin Cities. I need those legitimate folks who are grieving to take this back for the right reason. Why are we talking about anarchists who are burning down damn buildings? If you care about your community, you got to put this to an end. This is the largest civilian deployment in Minnesota history that we have out there today. And quite candidly right now, we do not have the numbers. But the level of resistance that we have seen tonight has increased exponentially. What you see tonight will replicate tomorrow unless we change something in what we're doing. The anger is real and... These people did this for no reason. George is in a better place than we are. And last night, I'm going to be honest, I wish I was where George was because this is ridiculous. That space on 38th and Chicago is sacred ground. But to be on the street after eight means that we can't get you separated from the bad people. These people are violating the law uh, as of this moment. For your sake to just stop there. Good evening, Minnesota. Last evening, we last asked you to uh, honor a curfew, a stay-at-home order. We asked you so that we could uh, regain order on the streets. Now, I'd like to address what many of you saw within the last hour. Semi came going 70 miles an hour. He almost ran a girl over. Somebody pulled her back. Holy I think the incident just underscores still the volatile situation we have out there. George Floyd's story has been the story of black folks. This is the tipping point in America. I don't believe there'll be another chance to get this right. What happened here will start a new movement just like the civil rights movement. We don't want you to lose that emotion as the days and months go by. George Floyd. George Floyd. George Floyd. Can y'all please say his name? George Floyd. Thank y'all. <laughs>